the magma chamber inside the volcano. This is a bit of uh, photos uh, of an adventure that I was on where I got to go inside the magma chamber of a dormant volcano. Uh, this is actually a shield volcano, so named for their broad shield-like profiles and are formed by the eruption of low viscosity lava that can flow a great distance from a vent. They generally do not explode catastrophically, but are characterized by relatively gentle effusion eruptions. Since low viscosity magma is typically low in silica, shield volcanoes are more common in oceanic than continental settings. Examples would be the Hawaiian volcano chain, which is really a series of shield cones, and they're also very common in Iceland as well. Extinct volcanoes are those that scientists consider unlikely to erupt again because the volcano no longer has a supply of magma. Dormant volcanoes, on the other hand, have a, a sticky uh, bit of uh, molten or semi-molten stuff beneath the magma chamber, but it would have to be reheated in order to wake up. So in this particular case, this was a dormant volcano that had not been active for over 4,000 years and was considered safe enough to provide entry down into the actual magma chamber of this a volcano. And it was a 700 foot drop to the bottom of the chamber. And I was fortunate enough to hike in to this area and participate uh, in the exploration of this uh, magma chamber. This is really an adventure I hope everybody gets a chance to, uh, to take. It's really one of those 20 places you must see before you die, at least according to CNN. I, I found it to be absolutely fascinating and would highly recommend it to anyone that can uh, make the trip, which uh, is about three and a half miles round trip uh, to get to the volcano uh, itself. Then the time to, to uh, uh, lower yourself into the uh, chamber. And then of course, after all that excitement, hike about 1.7 miles back uh, to get to the road. But it was well worth it and I highly recommend it. Have safe travels as you head down the road. Take care.